in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can do the bytecode for the Kotlin that we write. Then we'll look at how we can take that bytecode and turn it back into Java that we can read and understand so that we can compare it to the Kotlin that we've written. So to explore how to examine the bytecode and the generated Java, let's look at a case study here. We have this top level function called main. And let's say we want to see how is this going to be interpreted underneath the hood by JVM. Well, if we go up to our menu, click tools, Kotlin, and scroll down to show Kotlin bytecode, we can select that and see this new window pops up. This window then contains the bytecode for this function. However, it's not the easiest thing in the world to understand. But if we come up here and click the decompile button, this then opens the decompiled Java version of that bytecode. You see, this then is much easier to understand. We see that we have this public final class called learning Kotlin KT. And then we have this public static final void method called main. You notice this matches with what we had in our learning kotlin.kt file. We had a function called main, and we now have a method called main. And the file was called learning kotlin.kt, which is then converted into a class called learning kotlin kt. So this is just a very simple example of how you can start with a kotlin file class, really any kotlin code, examine the bytecode first, and then use that bytecode to then find the more readable version of the Java code. You can then see how this code compares, and this can be useful to look at performance impacts of various modifiers, and just really look at what's going on underneath the hood. Hopefully this will come in handy as you continue to learn more about Kotlin. Thanks for watching.